Hello. Today I'm going to set up a simple FSOE connection. That's two TwinSafe controllers on the same EtherCAT network communicating. I'm using 2911s because they have both inputs and an output, so I can make the inputs of one turn on the output of the other. First, I'm going to create my task for the run and error acknowledge bits. Now, I'll create two safety projects. We'll choose pre-configured inputs because I want both the run and error acknowledge. Now, under each target, I'm going to choose my EL 2911s. The terminal 2 is going to be the master. Save my hardware address. To make things easier, make sure that you choose the connection inputs and outputs and take over the safety alias device names. This is going to make the names much easier to identify in my IO tree. Save. And the second one. Next, I'm going to connect the aliases for run and error acknowledge. I'm going to use the same bits for both projects. Now I'm going to add the EL2911s as the local I.O. device. So I'm going to add EtherCAT back off EL2911. I'm going to set the linking mode to local and save. Now I'm going to add in my custom FSOE devices. Under alias device, add new item. Under EtherCAT, custom FSOE connection. I'm going to rename it for the master side and then the slave side. I've created both of my custom FSOE devices. Now I need to link them. I'm going to give them a safe address that we haven't yet used. So in this case, I'll call them both safe address 10. You can see their linking mode is already set to manual. Uh, automatic and local aren't an option. So that means I'm going to connect them directly to the FSOE messages of the partner device. We're currently on terminal three, so we need to link to terminal two. I'm going to uncheck exclude same devices and make sure that matching type is checked. We're currently on terminal three. Let's connect to terminal two and save. When I connect one side, it's actually going to connect both sides. But if I go to the other one, you'll see it's empty. I just need to refresh. So we'll close that and reopen master FSOE. And we can see that we're po that it's populated. Now under the connection tab of each FSOE device, I'm going to set the mode. By default, it's set to master, which is correct on the master. Under the slave, we'll change this. And then under type, since we're dealing in EL2911s, we'll make that selection here. I'm renaming my groups so I don't see group one twice. I wouldn't know which one is the master and the slave. Now let's add some code to exchange data. We're going to keep it really simple. We're going to just going to grab some decouple blocks. So we're going to send a signal to the other side and we're going to receive a signal back. These next to each other. Grab another decouple block to do the other side. Now let's link some variables. Under variables, I'm going to choose input one. And then to the slave, we're going to choose our master FSOE transmission. We're going to get the other side of that. When I'm choosing the bits of the custom FSOE device, what I'm looking at is right here under the process image. 
So I've got inputs and I've got outputs. I could really make this any size that I want. I just need to make sure that the two sides match. Now I'll do the same thing on the slave side. Multi-download. And finish. Now, because we haven't yet done it, we'll activate our configuration. Restart into run mode. You might have seen that error pop up. All groups will enter error state because the safe logic program has been restarted. We'll go into our SALs. Turn on our sunglasses. We see the expected error state. And our variable mapping. Set our project to run. And we'll acknowledge the error. Now we're in run and we have a successful FSOE connection. So on the master side, when I press Master in one sends a message to slave from master slave. We see slave out and the output turns on. Conversely, from the other side, when I hit the button on the slave side, it goes to the master and the master goes out. And that's how you set up a custom FSOE connection on the same Etherkit network.